Hey everybody, Chef Eric Eisenbud, the Grateful Chef here. We are back with part two of our Chinese spiced jerky from Chef, Master Chef John. Uh, if you've seen him online, it's um, uh, his stuff is amazing. I just watch it all the time. I said, hey, it's time to try one of his recipes. So I watched the video, wrote the stuff down, turned it into a recipe that I think is pretty close to what he did. And we are, so let me tell you what's, what's happened so far. We cut the steak, it's actually we have I-ringed, cut it with the grain and then in long strips. We deep fried them and then we took them out of the wok. We, we did aromatics. We did ginger, we did star anise, we did um, cinnamon, we did some soy sauce, we did some dry chilies some uh, crystallized sugar, which is a sugar you can get in Asian market. We did the crystallized sugar. We did, um, what else? What else we put in there, honey? A little oil. We tossed those aromatics around. Put the meat back in. Tossed them around, got them all coated. Then we put water, just about an inch above or half inch above the level of the meat. We brought it to a boil and we turned it down to a simmer and for 90 minutes, hour and a half, we allowed it to uh, simmer and reduce. After the 90 minutes, there was a little bit of liquid left. So I turned the heat up, I cranked it up, I reduced the sauce down till it was just a syrup, and I glazed everything in the syrup. Then you take them out, I put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment, brushed a little honey, and they went into a 250 degree oven for 15 minutes, and that's where we're at right now. Didn't want to bore you with that whole second process. So we're just going to go right to plating this awesome looking dish. The house smells amazing. It smells so good. We have uh, guys working on the uh, 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 on the yard doing some drainage. And he says, God, I smell cinnamon. I smell, I said, yeah, you're right. Good nose. So this is what we've got. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'll zoom in on that. What could be bad about that? He says before he tastes it. <laughs> so we're going to uh, now plate. Ooh, that's hot. And I really like the way uh, Chef John did. Do you honey it first? It has then... been honeyed oh. and baked. I thought it was honey afterwards. No, yeah, so I like the way that Chef John kind of did it. And he kind of did it Jenga style. That's what I'm going to call it. Jenga style. Do maybe three because these are pretty heavy. Three, we're gonna go three across. It's pretty easy. Just look at that. All right, it's getting a little crazy. I should have put three on the bottom. The building is only as good as its foundation, and this foundation looks like it's rickety. Rickety at best. All right, now, two on the top. The thing is, is, are you going to pull one out from the middle? No, I'm not playing the game. All right, so we've got that. Here I have a little bit of the sauce that was left. You can see how nice and thick it got. Oh, there you go. We're going to drizzle. Like that. I'm drooling, guys. And what better and to have that sauce as a glue for the sesame seeds. There's nothing better than sauce glue. And there we go. There we go. Let me wipe up some of these sesame seeds. Okay, so, it's, right. so it's been in the oven for a little bit. Are you just going to like dig into oh, it? Oh, yeah. Dig in. So it's supposed to be jerky, so I am anticipating it to be to have some chew. Plus, remember, we cut it with the grain so he we'll said see. it looks like glazed molasses and so what chef john did he went in with his fingers like this and he just kind of ripped it open like that mm. yeah. it is tender that's crazy mm. uh kevin said hey probably the best utilization of an extremely tough cut i've seen other than cooking in sous vide uh, so i agree kevin I just said that. 
Um, <laughs> so, in the fashion of jerky, you're getting I get some strings, right? Because the the uh, grain is so pronounced in this, but it certainly is tender. It's not hard like jerky. Can we? Can you pull it up? Do a little bit of a close up with pulling it apart. Oh yeah, I'll have to eat another one. All right, yes, yes, you do. All right. Let's go with this one right here. And Mike Italia Grotto said looks good. And Kevin asked, where can he find the video? Hmm. Well, the video will be on YouTube, I suppose. All right, so. So it'll be on you, it'll be on YouTube, but it also is on Facebook. So yeah, it's on all the Facebook group and my personal Facebook page. Um, are you ready? Want that close up? So where where are you gonna put it on screen? So you leave right it down here. there. All right, I'm gonna come down here. This is hot. Ah, got it. Close up. Actually, it would probably be better if I brought it to them because then it's clearer. Okay. When you zoom in too much, we lose a little resolution. We're so go back out, and then you come on in. See if I can get that. So you can see it just it you can see the grain of the meat. Really hot, guys. So I could continue and break it up. Mike said he loved your clips. Ooh. And uh, Kevin said, hey, the original video. Ah, the original video oh. from the other chef. Yeah, the original video came across my um my watch on Facebook. It's there's a thing where you can watch videos. If you, but he also has a, a website. If you search Chef John uh, uh, Zhang, it is Z-H-A-N-G, uh, you'll find his videos pretty quick. Those are those videos you've been watching a lot yeah. lately, yeah. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to feed the camera woman, as always. Well, Thank you. As I've been doing lately. Wow. Right? It's, yeah. um it's good. Very like tender. Kevin said, we took a real tough cut. We fried it and then braised it. And it took on the flavor of all those uh, aromatics, the uh, scallion and the ginger and the uh, cinnamon and the star anise. I definitely, uh, I taste all of it. But Very it, delicious. It, it gives it some really good spice in this. Yeah. And uh, it's not spicy. No. No, no. no it's, just, it's not hot spicy. There's so, definitely the... And I like the honey at the end because it's got a salt component. And the honey at the end really balanced it off, so that baked in. So, you know what? I'm giving it a thumbs up. I like this recipe. It uh, takes a little time. It's easy, but it takes a little time. So I encourage you, as always, think out of the box. If you see something on the, uh, a recipe on Facebook or on the Internet or something that you think looks good, Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Or tell me, hey, this looks good. What do you think? Send me, a, then I'll tell you what I think. And, I, and you know what? If, if it's cool, I'll make it. We'll do it live right here in the Grateful Chef Kitchen. So that's it, guys. Hope you had a great day. Uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow with more uh, debauchery in the Grateful Chef Kitchen. What are we doing tomorrow? I have no idea. What? It's Tomorrow, Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, my and you God. you don't know what you're doing on Facebook Live. I don't know. We'll do something. You know that. You know, during the pandemic, everything is screwed up. I uh, thought today was Friday, so. She I, thought it was Friday. Anyway. I, I, I announced that on the Thanks for joining, Friday. guys. Be well. Eat well. Be nice. Be kind. Love each other because we're all we've got. We'll see you on the next Grateful Chef video. See? Oh, you're still on. I'm still on. Mm. It's really good. Hmm. Finger lick. Nah, yeah, now, you, said that. now you're good.